Hello fellow planters. So in this video I'm going to feature the flamboyant pictures of a Nepenthe Saint Gaia tropical pitcher plant. Now before I do make sure you hit that subscribe button to stay privy on all my upcoming videos. So now let's get started. So a few months ago I had purchased three Nepenthe Saint Gaia's. One of them is in my office and I have the other two here with me. And Last year I had purchased this Nepenthes ventrata. Now both varieties are hybrids. The Nepenthes ventrata is a hybrid between the Nepenthes ventricosa and the Nepenthes alata. Both of those varieties hail from the Philippines. And then the Nepenthes St. Gaia is a combination between a hybrid formed by a Nepenthes ventricosa and the Nepenthes maxima. Now, as mentioned, the Ventricosa comes from the Philippines, but the Nepenthes Maxima comes from places like New Guinea, Sulawesi, and the Meluku Islands. And that hybrid was also combined with a Nepenthes Hassiana, which is from the Hassis Hills of India. And that's what produced the Nepenthes Saint Gaia. Now, just like all other pitcher plants, the Nepenthes St. Gaia likes humidity, anything below 50%, and pitcher plants, the tropical ones, that is, would not produce pitchers. And, you know, they like really high humidity. And they can be propagated from cuttings or from leaves, uh, uh, sorry, seeds. And, you know, they come in male and female flower varieties. So usually you don't know if a plant is a male or female until it flowers. So I have these planted, this one in a bud vase, as you can see where you have, I have long fibrous sphagnum moss and a wick and the roots on this one have extended down into the water. And then these, like it's easier to put like a candle jar that you can get for like a couple bucks from Hobby Lobby find a pot that fits and it's an easy way to do a wicking setup much easier than trying to use a ring here or something to hold it and suppress the sphagnum moss from coming down so anyway when you look at the nepenthe saint gaia picture we're first going to look at the ones that have not yet opened and what's really interesting is i do not currently have and a lot of that has a pitcher plant that's not yet opened as a comparison because the one that's next one that's forming is very tiny but what's interesting is the top portion it looks almost like a green coffee bean in the way it's shaped and then you can see how it has these nice flamboyant spots all over it gets redder as you get towards the central fins on it and the fins have some hairs, sometimes they seem of different lengths. And as it opens up, you can see how it has an interesting shape. Now comparing the Nepenthes ventrata to the Nepenthes St. Gaia, the top part seems to be redder than the bottom. And as it opened up, the top part became a little redder than the bottom and the bottom has more green than the red. Now also, I have in my hands over here, a flashlight that has a nice, whoops, okay, UV feature. So when you look at the pitcher plants in the dark under UV, at the central rim, you can see how it glows as a way to attract insects. So they can just go and jump in. It doesn't even have to make any effort to catch them to feed them they just hop right in so anyway i hope you found this video informative and both of these pitcher plants are not that expensive and they're readily available in uh, cultivation the Nep nepenthes ventrata has been around longer i've been recently seeing a lot of nepenthes st gaius for sale and i even saw some at a local nursery down near fadeful yesterday so anyway, these are great uh, hybrid pictures to add to your collection. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.